So uh, this week we have a, a review for another phone, continuing our great request to review every Android device that is you know available. Uh, this is the Sony Xperia Play, of course, available from Verizon Wireless in Crazy. the United States. Uh, this device is kind of a little bit hefty here. I guess let me go down the specs. It has a second Gen 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, okay. uh, which is uh, pretty similar to the original Snapdragon, but it has a GPU boost on it, a little bit better GPU. Boost! Uh, better graphics. Uh, 480 by 854, 4-inch display, so DVD quality. A 1500 milliamp hour battery, uh, stock Android 2.3. 2.3? Yeah, which means this bad boy here is running the real deal. Okay. That's nice. Uh, no extra UI stuff smeared over the top. Uh, just straight the latest Android goodness that you can get. Uh, it's hard to find on Android phones. 512 megabytes of RAM, a 720p camcorder slash 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera, and the main feature, the slide-out game controller. Do that again. Do that again. Let's go up the gadget cam. Boom. Boom. Oh, so did you see that? It's got these shoulder buttons back here and the volume button in the middle. <laughs> With the uh, built-in keyboard masher, you can just drop it on your keyboard. <laughs> Now, this is the PlayStation controller. Of course, the familiar buttons you've seen over here in the directional pad on the left side. Um, but in the middle, there are no joysticks. Uh, these are touch interfaces. They're like a, it's like uh, a touch mouse surface, like the, uh, like the mouse surface here on the yeah. laptop. It's a track pad. Track pad. There you go. So, And I think it's just these little uh, dots here. That's how you move around you know, your, huh. your joysticks. And so I can... I'll pull up an app here. Let's get Gun Brothers. Um, oh, yeah. They make a, a version just for uh, the really? Sony Xperia Play. Yes. Does it have like a uh, HDMI out or anything like that? Uh, no. No, oh. it does not. That's That was my... Uh, that's my pretty Your much beef? only complaint. Uh, you know, aside from the, the thickness of the phone. Yeah. Um, but let's see. I'm going to... No, I don't want to load faint. No! These gun brothers here are such rascals. You can see my reflection up here. I know. <laughs> crazy. So I'm going to bring up a level just to show you a little bit. Like the buttons and stuff work fine. It comes with a couple uh, really great games, uh, including Asphalt. Uh, there's like a Bruce Lee one on here, and hmm. you have to check it out. Um, but again, you can order, you can go on to uh, the VCast app store, and they have a specific section. Uh, for ex for Sony Xperia Play apps, nice. so kind of a, a smart thing uh, to do. Of course, it plays all the regular Android games, but uh, normally Gun Brothers has the controls up here on the screen. But now you move around uh, using these uh, touch joysticks down here on the bottom, and then your right joystick is the uh, is oh. the firing joystick. That's a little more intuitive. Yeah, well, and you're not covering up the screen with your thumbs. Mm -hmm. So, you know, basically it's more screen real estate that you can see bad guys coming at you and, and trying to shoot you. And you have a little bit of, like, sensory, like, you got to feel. Like yeah, because there's a lip edge right here, like uh -huh. a ridge, uh, so that you can actually feel when you're getting close to the edge instead of, you know, you get in the game too much. And it's easy to get your thumb off of the trackpad yeah. on the you know on the screen because there's no there's no haptic feedback you know physical feedback you know as to if you're still on it or not. So that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much what that is. Um, this also comes with. Let's see, I'm gonna go home here. Open up the app drawer. Seems I gotta show snappy. you this. Oh yeah. Um, and I got I know this is not the app show, but I gotta show you a couple of the apps that are on here because. Okay. It's part uh, of the experience. It is. It's a gaming phone, and as such, you get. Did everyone read that warning? Yes. Oh. PlayStation games. <laughs> <laughs> Not every PlayStation game, um, but specifically, uh, this one is Crash Bandicoot. Ooh. Which is quite the throwback for me. Anyway, I remember uh, when I was when I was just a wee boy, uh, playing. Uh, playing this i don't know maybe it was i was i a teenager when this came out i don't know 1996 so that means i was in the sixth grade so i'm gonna go with no <laughs> i 
Yeah. I forgot how much this sucks that you gotta sit through all these screens and pressing start doesn't do anything. There we go. And we are starting up the game right now. Loading. So this is, I mean, <laughs> I thought for a second, you know, this probably isn't going to be that good of an experience because, you know, it's got to be emulating the game. Not so. Like, this is as good as anything that I ever played on PlayStation. So if you're a fan of, it, 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 the other great thing about this is it's free. This comes with the phone. And it's not like a trial version. Uh, Sony just said, you know what we're going to do? Crash Bandicoot it up. And it's the original game. It's not some light version. It's all the uh, the greatness of Crash Bandicoot that, that you've come to know and love. You, c you can even tell it's not in widescreen. Yes. <laughs> it would be kind of cool if they remade it for that. But, but no. So, uh, I guess I'll, I'll move on to some more stuff here. Um, it's amazing to find a phone with vanilla Android. There's no, this is exactly how Google has meant Android to look. Uh, you got the 2.3 redesign of all the stuff up here on top. Uh, it's the stock Android launcher. You can put your own stuff on there if you want to, uh, go into, you know, a different home thing or whatever. This is the stock Android menu. You might not have ever seen this before. If you've bought a Motorola or an HTC phone, a lot of them don't have the regular stuff. Uh, what the great thing about having uh, the stock uh, Android experience on here means is that this phone is going to be one of the first ones to receive updates. And again, that's not a guarantee from anybody, uh, but generally speaking, phones that have stock Android, uh, they don't really have to have all these different modifications done to them uh, to make sure that, you know, they're going to, you know, the UI or whatever the extra special stuff is, is going to work well. So, you know. Uh, it just makes it easier on the developers, makes it easier on everybody. Uh, so, you know, it's always been my position to go after a phone that has uh, the stock experience. Or if you're a rooter, you know, make sure that whoever it is that's making your favorite ROM is supporting the phone you're going to buy. But love this. Uh, th it is kind of beefy. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of a BlackBerry phone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here's, uh, well, first, we'll, we'll kind of step up here. First, here's the... Uh, HTC Evo. Uh, we'll put screen to screen here so you can see the, the thickness difference. It's only a little bit thicker in the thickest part, but it's thick all the way around. Mm -hmm. The Evo is only like, you know, only in the very middle. The rest of it's all tapered off and everything. This is all black. What yeah. about compared to the iPod Touch over there? Yeah, that's where I was going next. So, boom. iPod Touch. Uh, about... Yeah, yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> iPod Touch. <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. Wow. But, you know, whatever. Uh, one of the cool things, as you can see here now, is if you have the phone locked and you just slide it open like that to the game controller, it brings you into the screen that shows you all the games that you have installed. Oh, wow. On here, yeah. And you can go to more games. And it'll uh, come up to the uh, Xperia App Store Brilliant. stuff here. So you can buy uh, games that are specifically made for uh, the controller. So that's not stock ROM. Uh, no, this is an app. Well, that's an app that just launches when you're in that. Yeah, whenever you slide it, you like, that, they, it like that. You're right. You're right. It's not It's not 100% stock. The but experiences. Yeah, the experiences. And this this is like just a little extra thing that they did that when it slides open... And when it's been locked, right. it does this automatically. It won't do it. Uh, okay, say like we're on the home screen or whatever, and we slide it open. Oh, look, there it goes. Oh, yeah. How about that? I guess my bad. I guess it does it whenever. Hmm. Or in the that? browser when you want to slide it open. Nope. Did it automatically rotate it, though? No. Are you sure? I was pretty sure. Uh, oh, maybe look at that. Then. I'm discovering things you are not. Booyah! Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha! In my face, I guess. So, <laughs> so it is kind of beefy. Um, but if you're a hardcore gamer, yes. uh, the buck stops here. I mean, this is this is the phone for you. Because uh, hardcore gamers know that you cannot beat this physical keyboard. You know, uh, on screen is great for the controls and everything. 
Uh, but there is just something about having those buttons underneath your fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, even they ha- even though they have that one gamepad that you can snap onto a keyboard, when yeah. it's not the same. Not the it same. just really isn't. So, yeah, you can't beat it. And plus this, this right here is where it's at with the joysticks, the touchpad joysticks, and it's got a bump here in the middle too. So whenever you're moving your finger, you can always feel it. You feel the outside edge, and you feel the bump here in the middle. Uh, so it's it's a very tactile response. Even here in the middle, you can't see it as well as you can around the outside. But even in the middle, there's a ridge. Mm-hmm. My bumps. So. My bumps. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say to that, Dave. <laughs> Good. So uh, let's see what else I got written down here. Um, oh, yeah, a lot of these games that take advantage of it are by a you know, game loft. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. All the great Nova, Modern Combat 2. Uh, I haven't played Modern Combat 2 on here, but uh, that's only because I purchased Modern Combat 2, and I don't want to buy it again just to try it on this phone. You have to buy a new one? Yeah, you have to buy it again because, yeah, because they're jerks. Mm-hmm. But whatever, Game Loft. Um, the games are awesome, but you guys are kind of jerks about it sometimes. The only thing I could fault it for is, uh, as you had said, uh, you know, uh, and again, si- aside from the thickness, is that it does not have HDMI out. Yeah. So it just seems to me like... How's the camera on that bad boy? Sony's... It's has, just okay. Sony's usually made good cameras in the past. Um, I don't know. I took some pictures, I thought, with the it's earlier. It's the front facing. The front facing's probably not so great. Mm, yeah. I don't know how I can take a picture of you when I can't... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's not so good. Well, we have all these lights in here, so there's all kinds of noise. Should but be better. That's not so bad. Yeah. You can <sighs> see the hair on your arm, so. Ooh. Oh, no, not that well, even. Yeah. So, camera's not that great. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, but, again, it does come with all kinds of games. It has Asphalt 6 on here, uh, the Bruce Lee one, this other app that I don't know called Ball Hop, Crash Bandicoot. And Eye Fishing Light, Madden NFL 11, uh, Penguin Golf came pre-installed on it, Star Battalion, which I have not played yet. Some of these games I got pretty frustrated because you got to download data oh, packs. Yeah, you tell me about that. It was, t- it was taking, it took an hour and it was 25% downloaded <laughs> and I said, screw you and closed it. Because I, you know, I thought, well, I'll review some of these apps on the show. No, that's no. not how it works. That's not how it works, apparently. So, uh, and again, like you said, front-facing camera. Mm-hmm. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, they do, they were thinking about some of the logistics on the phone. Uh, like, they placed the headphone and charger on the bottom. So, when you're holding the phone, oh, that's cool. it's not on your hands on the sides. So, that can be very annoying. You, you know, if you play some of these games, you have to make sure you have your finger just right. Like on my Evo, uh, the headphone jack's right there. So, for a lot of games, you kind of get used to your finger sitting right on mm-hmm. something. Um, but then on you know the power jacks at a different level, I'm kind of OCD about a lot of things. So when my hand's sitting crooked on the phone because I'm ha- I have my earbuds in and the power plugged in, it kind of bothers me. How rude! You know. So these guys again, they really thought they put on them both the on the bottom. Nice. So it just would be nice to see like an HDMI thing right here. Yes. Uh, but maybe that's going to be the Sony Xperia too. Maybe mm-hmm. they'll have two sets of shoulder buttons on the back, and you'll play PlayStation Two games. You need an upgrade. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you've always got to go somewhere, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, what's the price on this, Dave? Well, the price is, once again, unique here. $99.99 on Verizon with a two-year contract. And uh, our f- one of our favorite little s- sneaky ways to get the phone is to go onto Amazon for Amazon Wireless. And uh, they currently have it listed as one cent. And again, that's the same two-year contract, same carrier, same, you know, it's Verizon. Yep. Um, but you just buy it through Amazon. Yeah. Which, ha- like like we always say, has its pluses and its minuses. Indeed. 